Hi, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting video because we're taking delivery of a brand new car. That car is a 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Coupe. They really need to work on those names. <laughs> No, that's the 63S, the one we were trying to buy. Uh, Buying this car has been an absolute nightmare. I'll go through all, not like the car from this dealership, but just the whole, we'll get into that later. <laughs> Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Look, for some reason, we came into the bathroom this morning and Oro was sitting in the shower. <laughs> so I closed the door just to see what he would do. Dang, oh, there you go, Desi. Push on this. Yeah, push, push, on this. push, push bud. Push. I like watching the wheels turn to see how they figure stuff out. It's funny to watch. Also, you got, you got the guard and then you got the prisoner. <laughs> the guard and the prisoner. Push. Also, look at push. the butt cheeks on this woman. Push. In her push. N n her nighty, whatever this outfit is. Yeah, go look at this. Push. How is that? That's real, guys. That is not a Kim K fake booty right there. Good. Oh, prisoner is on the loose. Prisoner is on the loose. Desi? Prisoner is on the loose. <laughs> oh, he is gone. Uh, we love chasing after him, okay. and they literally cartoon slide like on the floor to run away. You're the guard. You suck. So we're basically just waiting for the car to arrive right now from the shipping company. But, Teen, should we tell them the shitstorm of trying to get this vehicle? Should we tell them the whole story of what happened? You love story time, so yes. Here's what happened. <laughs> I just woke up. Here's what happened, sorry. We had originally ordered a Mercedes SUV, a 63 version from Sun Motors, our local dealership. It was slated 2022 model to be built in October. So basically this month as of watching this video. Well, of course, I told uh, Dan, the um, salesman that we were working with, I said, dude, I have the worst luck ever. I always, like, shit always happens that ruins plans that I try to have, right? Well, he's like, no way, not gonna happen. He gets us a build date. He's like, see, look, you don't have bad luck. Okay, maybe you're right, right? Oh, no, bad luck. So, luck what happens? A few months later, he calls me up and he says, hey, I got bad news. They're not, Mercedes is not building any 63 model of V8s for next year. So you can't get your car that you ordered. What do you want to do? I'm like, okay, let's get a 53, right? It looks exactly the same. It just uh, doesn't have the hand-built V twin turbo V8, which is a bummer, but it still has a uh, twin turbo inline V6 that still makes like 450 horsepower, something like that. And it looks the same, same features, very, very similar car, right? So I'm like, let's just do that. Well, he's like that, unfortunately, we can't even get those until next year. So Christina and I start calling companies, Mercedes dealerships all over the country, especially once we found out they're not building 63s. Our dealership couldn't get us a 53 or a 63 anytime soon. We called about, what do you think, Christina? 30 different dealerships all over the country, maybe more. Yeah. Every time we called about a 63, which is the one we wanted, pretty much said, oh, I'm sorry, it just sold, or it sold yesterday, or, it, or, or they would tell us it was available first, and then they'd come back after they spoke to their manager or whatever and say, sorry, the car is sold, and then they started selling for over MSRP. They were like 130, the spec that we wanted, then they started selling for 20,000 over, 30,000 over, whatever. So that, that pro we went through that process for about three weeks straight, and then I decided I'm done with this. It's like that's, taking that's, up way too much time. It's too that's stressful, what, right? That's what hurt the most was them being like, oh, it's, yeah, available, it's available and then it's not and available. And then they put us on hold and then they come I was like, okay, I'll put like, a deposit down right now. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, oh, it literally just sold this morning or yeah. just last night. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Like literally we were about to buy one and then we told them, okay, we're interested. Yeah. We'll talk tomorrow we'll because it, it was, we were three hours ahead. Uh -huh. So it was late for us. We went to bed and we wake up and we're like, okay, we want it. And they're like, as soon as we stopped talking yesterday, someone walked in and put a deposit down. I'm like, but I told you I was interested. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, that was a nightmare. So that's what we went through. I know these are first world problems, but I just wanted to share. I mean, still time and, and money and you know stuff like that. So anyway, the car should be arriving. We finally found one. I'll go through the whole story. I have what happened with, we bought two cars. What happened with the whole car purchases <clears throat> another time. But for now, let's uh, wait till the car gets here. All right, so the driver has arrived with our car and we didn't even realize he was here and he actually already pulled it off. I just happened to look outside and saw him driving it. It looks so freaking badass. I'm so excited right now. We actually haven't even seen one of these in person. We didn't drive one of these. We drove a 63, but it was the SUV version and that was a different, basically a different car, right? Yeah. So this is the first time we ever bought a car oh out God. of state oh, 
sexy. Dude, it is. Oh my god. Oh, and without seeing it or anything like that, that or driving so it. Dude, good. the presence of this thing. Black Holy on black crap. The night package. Oh my fiber. god. Okay, we'll show you the car in a second. All right, so here it is, guys. Your first look at our brand new car. 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 53. Um, huge shout out to Caleb from TCI Logistics for always providing the best shipping experience. If you guys need shipping, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and a massive shout out to Mercedes-Benz of Wilsonville in Oregon. We actually purchased this car from Oregon. Um, a lot of places weren't even wor willing to work with us from out of state, um, and they were. So huge thank you to Brendan, um, Brian, and uh, Rick. Uh, we really, really appreciate you guys working with us. There it is right there, AMG of Wilsonville. So yeah, freaking amazing. So one of the reasons why this car was so difficult to get is because we wanted a couple of options. We wanted black on black, so black interior, black exterior. We wanted the black performance uh, wheels, and um, we wanted carbon five, pretty much as many options as you can get. This has all of them. So this one's completely specced out. It was right around $100,000 for this spec. Um, it has self-driving, it has um, self-parking. Look at the, in at the night package, which was really important. That blocks out all of this trim around here. And look at the interior of this thing. The carbon fiber options. Um, we actually don't have the buttons on the steering wheel because we have a heated steering wheel, which um, isn't what I would have chosen, but it's good for winter here in Pennsylvania because it gets cold. Look at this. Oh my God, it smells so good. Panoramic roof, absolutely stunning. Teens, you want to sit in here and start it up? No, For the absolutely. first time? If you hold a paddle, I, I did it too late. It does like a experience startup, oh. like a louder startup. Look at the dashboard in this thing. Look at how long this is. 24 inches, touch screen. All right, so first thing we need to do is put this bad boy into Sport Plus. Right here, there's a little clicker that says dynamic. Oh, okay, cool. So we push it down, there's oh, Sport. Look at the dash changing. And now here's Sport Plus. There oh, look go. how red it is. I heard it open Ooh. up. I heard it open up. All right, you want to give us some revs? A couple little ones. Yeah, some baby oh. revs. It does have the AMG performance exhaust, but the car is brand new. Yeah, so we don't. It's it, it needs to break in for the first thousand miles. Go over a certain amount. Yeah, but. for the first thousand miles, you're not really supposed to go over. I think it's four thousand RPMs. So we're gonna take care of this Let's bad boy. Back comfort. comfort. Oh, that's how I like <laughs> let me it. hop in there and go, let me... go far back. This is lean. I lean back. <laughs> lean, I lean back. back. <laughs> so heated and cooled seats, Burmeister surround sound system. It has ambient lighting. Is the ambient lighting on right now? I think it's on blue. We need to change that to something else. Yeah, we'll do that later. Look at all this. The what are we looking for? It's so beautiful. Knob. Right there, yeah. Look at that. How's the sound? Damn. Walk through fire for all right. you. <laughs> and they actually already have it set on the Super Sport dash, which is my favorite dash. Look at that. So Everything's completely customizable. Oh my god, this car is insane. So we tried out a lot of different models. Oh, by the way, they even have heated and cooled cup holders in here. Uh, do you want to show them the key fob? Do you have the key fob in there? Yeah, it's right here. How's that look? It's pretty simple. But it's, Sweet, a, newer, it's a newer version. Yeah, it's nice, you know, blacked out. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's simple, which I like, simplicity. Um, where god. is the parking brake? Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm good to go now. First drive. I'm good to go. First drive. You just want to rail on it, don't you? I do. <laughs> you can't, teens. You just went over four thousand. You voided no, the warranty. I'm at two and a half. You, I just want to talk to him. I just. Look want at to that talk dash! Him. Holy crap! Hey, let's park it right here for a thumbnail. Okay. What do you think? Okay. okay. So we're just messing around, connecting our phones and stuff. They have different themes in here. She was just in off-road theme, and it was raising the car up. Now it's lower. And it changes the car. everything. What'd you put it into? I just put it into lounge. Lounge. That's like comfort. It's like do 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 sport. Sport, yeah. Oh, that opens the exhaust up. Look, changes everything. It gives you like settings that they they kind of chose for you, I guess. This is this is crazy. Performance, and then this is racetrack. Racetrack. God. Wow. Ooh, that, really that gives even more good. exhaust. Yeah. Oh, there's a super sport display. That's what I would drive in. That's that's really cool. Or I didn't even if know it had that. You can just create your own. Theme. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, this is crazy. 
I really like this car. We will be probably trading this in for a 63 once we can get one, I think next fall. We're gonna order one from Sun Motors for my buddy Dan. <clears throat> so this is kind of just like a hold me over. And actually my buddy Ben, who works at West Shore Auto Center, said he can tune this for us. It's about 450 horsepower, and I think with just a tune it adds like 100 more horsepower. So it'd be 550 horsepower with this bad boy. It actually is electric assist. So it's an inline, a twin turbo V6 with an electric assist motor that gives you another, I think like 30 to 40 horsepower plus like 100. 50 newton meters of torque something like that so it is pretty fast you're to 60 just under five waiting. seconds i actually got a new camera so i can do like pov drives of our cars and stuff so we buy to the tractor trailer thanks buddy he turned around that's awesome yeah he did um so yeah we're just going to keep screwing around with settings and then we actually have a lot to do today so we're going to take you along for the for the day look at the freaking tires on this thing how aggressive it is these are 325s in the back what's the front 285s in the front. I think 325s might be bigger than my R8 wheels. My R8 tires, I should say. Look at that thing. Oh, the exhaust sounds too. We also have the trailer hitch, which is really nice. That is, I think that is one of the most beautiful SUVs. Actually, it is, I think, the most beautiful SUV on the market. We almost bought an Urus. Dude, that thing looks so good. good. Yeah. My car, see you later. <laughs> okay, I'll take the other one. Oh, you guys heard it. You guys heard it. Listen to that thing. Freaking badass. So I guess we got to pull the Rogue out. This is going to be the replacement for our Nissan Rogue. Uh, that was just a lease. But I can't, I love this car. It is gorgeous. The only thing that would make it better is the twin turbo hand built V8, which we will replace this with next year when they're available. But good God, that thing is gorgeous. Teens, want to see something cool? I don't think she knows about this feature. Does the booty look cool? Oh, that's how you open it? <laughs> I'm gonna reach out here. How cool is that? It keeps it totally uh, nonchalant. Look at the size in here, too. For a coupe? Oh, here are oh there's all the, all the okay, yeah. cool. There are all the manuals. Look at that. Look at the size. You got this guy here. Look at that. Species. Cover everything up. Put it like this. Seats go all the way down. Way more storage than you think would be in a coupe. The only thing that is worse about the coupe is it's higher up right here. A f wow, a full oh, size a full spare tire. tire. Well, not full well, size, not, but but yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, how cool is this, teens? You think yeah, we made the right wait, choice? Wait until you drive it. It's it's so smooth. Yeah. It it's amazing. Hey, let's pull the rogue out and and Swap sw switch a ruski. Say goodbye yeah. To the good old rogue. All right, so we got to add our spare key to our key section. Christina found this really cool thing. Is this for like keys and stuff? Yeah, or you just you found can, it online. No, this is meant for keys. You can oh, okay. put it by your nightstand. You can put your phone here with your mm. like cord. But we should probably get rid of all these garage door things because we're gonna get we're gonna be adding another key yet. Oh my god, that's true. You know? Great, but we're getting rid of one key technically, so that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So this... yeah, we have the C8 Corvette, Audi R8, Diablo. my Lamborghini Diablo, Mercedes AMG GT, and then we have an extra for each one. So these are all extras. Craziness, but that's really cool. And I guess what's in here? Nothing. You can put stuff in here. Oh, oh what is in here? I don't know. What's this? Oh, this is a wireless charging thing that came with it. Oh. Like if you have an Apple product. That's cool. But we're going to probably need to use that. Not right now, Jerry. So before we move the Rogue over, even though there is space, um, it's going to be a lot more of a pain in the ass to move these. Christina went on a float buying bonanza. <laughs> which we filmed about a month and a half ago. Just to give you an idea how much she actually edits. You have been, I've been so busy. Onlyfans.com slash Christina Khalil. Um, so we're gonna take these. We actually have a loft upstairs, which is unfinished. And we gotta put all of those up there. All right, let's get one final cold start for the Rogue. I have no idea how much I love this Nissan. Like, yeah, I it's really, a great car. Really There's it. nothing wrong with it. Yeah. And, and if we didn't need write-offs, <laughs> we would probably have kept it. But actually our lease is up in November. We probably would have got a CRV, would we have not? Yes. I love the CRVs. I love the CRV. Yeah. But the Mercedes is gonna be awesome. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Where's the exhaust? There it is. Oh, yeah. oh God, yeah. All right, let's put that in the guest garage. And now we're gonna have a hell of a garage set up in here. The Rogue. Ah, from California to Pennsylvania to the guest garage. <laughs> So as you can see, we didn't make it very far with the floats. Christina wants to deflate all of them before we put them upstairs. Um, and actually, yeah, that makes t total sense. Um, we are gonna be doing the garage floors 
and some small things in here, um, but all of that was delayed because we wanted to get the car sorted first. So yeah, the garage, the, build, the dream build garages, build dream garage, I don't know, I can't speak. Um, that will be coming soon. What are you doing? What do you got there, bud? You're so confused right now. I was seeing if they're still wet or if oh. they dried out. I think they're pretty neutral. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you doing over here? So, in, oh, gosh. in typical Jarrett fashion, I gotta put this nasty ass half strip Ducati tank into our brand new car, which smells horrible. It smells like gas and paint stripper. So I'm gonna put it into a plastic bag. But this is part of our giveaway. If you guys are new to the channel, I actually give away motorcycles. Crazy custom. What are you trying to do to the tank? Stripping it. It's mm. gonna be, and by the way, it's steel. I thought this was aluminum. It's actually it's steel. steel. Yeah. Ooh, it's so gonna look so good. We gotta go drop it off to a place called Strip It Clean in York. Ooh, strip it. And they're gonna burn all this off and then sandblast it. And then we're gonna do like a brushed steel tank on the monster. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna look really good. Yeah. But let's try not to smell up our brand new car. And also, while we're here, I do wanna announce a new sponsorship with Fab Speed oh, Motorsports. Shit. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna be doing their entire performance package for the Audi R8, filming the whole thing, before and afters, all that kind of stuff. Um, this from the factory is 610 horsepower to the crank. With their uh, Fab Speed exhaust, race filters, and a tune, it's gonna be over 700 horsepower to the crank. It adds about 75 wheel horsepower. Yes. And it's gonna be loud, crackles, all kinds of stuff, actually. This is why we wanted no neighbors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this car is gonna be nasty. And th the reason why I upgraded this car is because of the other new car that we're getting. Is it, is it technically yours, technically mine? mine? Is it yours? Wow, okay. So then mine's the it's SUV? Mine. It's my car. <laughs> okay, all these cars are mine. what are you doing over here? Um, is this what you, the tank's gonna look like? Oh, yeah, so something similar to this, except okay. we're doing old school Ducati lettering. But like, this is Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. We is might, this the same type of... This is aluminum, but it's brushed aluminum, okay. yes. So we're gonna do brushed seal, but we might put some different types of strokes on it, depending on okay. how we That's sand it. That's really good. It's gonna be I mean, This is actually Panagale. another giveaway bike as well. A limited edition Ducati Panigale. It's gonna be probably around 60, 80 this gram. This is a beast. When we're done with it. Yeah, that's full carbon right there for this bike. 20 gram worth of carbon. <laughs> Yeah, crazy. So patreon.com slash customs if you guys want to be entered to win custom Ducati motorcycles. And it's always the first link in the description below. All right, All right Jared's turn to drive the car. First time starting this bad boy up. That was pretty uh, <laughs> uneventful. Hold on, actually, what? Wait, wait, let's see this. Are you going to try the paddle if thing? If I hold this. Oh, there oh. it is. Oh. Vroom, and, vroom. and once we tune this thing and maybe put an exhaust on it, it'll probably sound really good. What's this? An update's Update ready? ready? Oh, whatever. We're going to yeah. do that later. Okay. Let's go to Dado. Dude, this is amazing. And actually, when I was sitting in here to choose this driving location, you can put in your height and it puts it, everything right where they think it should be. And I just had to make some minor adjustments. Jared has his own profile under this Dude, vehicle. this <laughs> thing feels... Listen to it. Uh, okay, actually it sounds better nice. than I thought. It is you very know? nice. Are you are you just in regular or are you in sport right I now? I think I'm in sport right now. Okay. Oh man. Oh god. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, seat the brakes are, are seat belts Everything's are great. They new, work. So we need to at least for a few hundred miles be really chill, which is As very he's difficult. slamming on the brakes and very throwing difficult. you forward. It's not, no, the brakes aren't the problem. <laughs> Look at this dash, dude. Holy crap. It's, it's really, really you guys nice. You can see there's a giant heads-up display out there. Like, I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but Dude, let's not hit the bikers in our brand new car. All right, so we're swinging over to Dotto's house right now. We wanna show him the car. I gotta drop off a check for him. And then we gotta drive to York to drop off the gas tank. So we're gonna get some proper break-in miles on this bad boy, and I'm gonna be as nice and calm as I can. I feel like we're gonna be fighting over who gets to drive who gets this to drive every this? day. <laughs> I, I always, I always drive. I'm no, usually the chauffeur. No, you said this was yours, so I'll take the new no, car. No, 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 no. I'll take the new With car. the Nissan, like, I always drove. That's just yeah. how it is. Uh -huh. He would be chauffeured around, and now because he loves this car, it's gonna be a little battle over I like this car. <laughs> Yeah, it is. But that's maybe we'll, that's what we'll do. Every we'll rock, time we'll rock, rock, paper, scissors. Best so two out of three. We'll have some nasty. Maybe a little bit of rock, wrestling. Paper, scissors games. <laughs> oh, okay, I need to turn this driver assist stuff off. It's like telling me not to go out of my lane and shit over there. All right, so we got here to Dado, and uh, what do you think of this thing, dude? I walked out the door, <laughs> and it literally looks like. A full on sports car. It looks car. like a sports car. You almost can't tell that it's an SUV unless yeah. you like walk around the back. Isn't it insane? So I was telling him, it's basically exactly the same as that SUV we had, Dotto, except this is the coupe version, so it has the coupe lines. 
And then this one doesn't have the V8, it has the inline six, but it's still 450 horsepower or something like that. I mean, it's still crazy, you know? But how crazy is this, like, dash and everything? Yeah, the display is the same. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Isn't crazy? Yeah. yeah, and actually, I'm sitting in the back for the first time, and there's actually plenty of headroom back here for me. This is me sitting up. I don't know if you guys can see. I probably have two inches or so. I'm 5'10". So you can, I was worried that this might, look at the ambient lighting. Wow, it even comes back here under the seats. There's ambient lighting. What the heck, dude? Look at that. At nighttime, this car's gonna light up like a goddamn Christmas tree. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, Dado's on his lunch break right now, so we'll let him get back to it. But we'll take you for a ride and all that yeah, another time. We'll and I'll, obviously, you can drive this and things. They said for the first thousand miles, you're not supposed to take it over 4,500. That's going to be very difficult. It's At least for the new, first new, few hundred yeah. miles, I'm yeah. going to chill on it for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, craziness, yeah. huh? It's insane. Wait till we tune this bad boy. Give it 550 horsepower. Let's cut the exhaust off now. <laughs> the, the performance exhaust. I got, I got eight minutes left to my lunch. Let's do it. <laughs> So, dropped off the tank. They're gonna ship it for me. They said uh, should be done in a couple of days. And it was like 30 bucks to, to do it. They're gonna bake it in an oven and then sandblast it. So, that should be interesting. It's, I think it's gonna turn out really, really cool. Um, Christina's gonna drive. Um, I drove the car for about 45 minutes. I absolutely love this thing. It's incredible. Now, what would make it a little bit better? Well, a lot better. <laughs> if it had a V8 twin turbo oh, in it, yeah. but this still sounds and it's, it's still a lot faster than I thought it would be and it still sounds really good, too So Christina's gonna set everything up for herself um, And then we'll head to pick up the stenciling for the tank next I'm gonna shit myself This thing looked like it was literally inside, inside. and it does not look like it would be fun to have on top of you <clears throat> Teens drove it back. What are you thinking teens? What do you think of this bad boy? I love this car. It's amazing mm -hmm. It really is I like, it's like a command center, like I have command of yeah. the road on this. <laughs> the I can way you see sit everything. up. It's, yeah, it's, I don't, I don't really have anything negative to say about it. I love it. I don't either, except for the V8, like I said. But apparently she thinks she's in a V8. Oh, you get to smoke that Subaru, huh? Yeah. And it comes with a car pipe. So we grabbed some food. I just had some sandwiches from Duncan. And then we're picking up the stencils and we're gonna go show my brother and his family. So that'll be fun to see their reaction. Look at this park job. Christina's park job. This, in her defense, it's very wide. And we came in the wrong way. But fast signs, this is where, actually, I think Dotto said he used to work here at one point, way back when he was maybe in high school. Um, but we gotta pick these up and see how they look. So there you go. They gave us a couple extra ones just in case anything happens. If I would have thought about it, I probably would have had them do a, two, two different sizes. But this is exactly what the stock tank uh, logos were. So I think it'll be perfect. But there you go. That's yeah, really good. old school Ducati lettering. It's gonna be sick. Um, okay, let's go show my brother and his family the car. Also, we just found out this is a wireless charger. I knew that, but it actually charges through a case, too. Some cars don't allow you to charge through a case. It's to take it off. That's and pretty impressive. And mine's a thick case with a magnet on the back. Maybe it charges a little slower or something if you have a case on it, but... Yeah. God, what a beautiful... I can't get over the pretty dash. Impressive. I oh, think it used to, so like, reversing this. That's part. actually really easy to use. It's so... Oh, everything's it right there, so you, you know? Get used to it. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's see if she runs everything over. No. Look at all the different camera angles you have right here. I like this one right here. <laughs> You can see the top what? down. Yeah, so you don't curb your wheels or anything. Oh, like. Isn't that cool? Mm. Then you have oh, just the back. Actually, that I one's just, pretty good I just too. Want a normal. No, I don't like that. Uh, well, what do you want? You want the backup, like three-way backup? I don't know. Look at that. I like that one. All right, so we stopped by my Broski's house and uh, showing him the car, but it's in off-road mode right now. Is it lowering? No, it's not in off-road. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, maybe Put it in Sport off. Plus. Put it in Sport Plus. It should lower. I think it goes up up to like three inches. So this is for like sand or off-road, it'll actually raise up. Okay, I'm gonna put it in off-road now. Put it in off-road now? Well, it's already all the way up. No, it wasn't, but I had already changed it. Oh, what do you think though of it, broski? It's pretty, it's pretty sick looking, right? Yeah. So this wasn't the exact model we wanted. We wanted the V8 one, but it looks exactly the same. You know, there's no different. Hello. Um, and actually, this is an inline twin turbo V, or inline V6 twin turbo. And it has an eco assist, so it actually has a hybrid. It's a it's a hybrid technically. Oh really? Yeah, so it has 450 horsepower. It's still pretty, you know what I mean, beefy. But um, yeah, I love this thing, dude. It's badass. We were checking out your pool back there. Yeah. It's, it's gonna nice, look right? really nice. Can yeah. Uh, you didn't lower it. Okay, come on. Come on, Reesey. Comfort Sport Plus. There you go. Hey, right. watch. No. 
Now it should lower it. There we go. So we realized it was because Christina had opened the door. That's why it wasn't lowering. Look at that. Look at how much lower that is. I think it does front first and then back. I'm not even sure because that doesn't look all the way down to me, but who knows? Pretty crazy. But Tino, do you see the dash? 24 inches across, full touch screen. Everything changes. Oh, it's coming back up. So it goes up. Maybe it'll go up. For the, okay, who knows? All right, so we just got off the phone with uh, Shane from InShane Designs, and he was congratulating us on the car. And um, I think we're actually gonna do full PPF, stealth PPF. So it's, Take away that shiny, glossy, It's basically satin, blue. satin finish, mm -hmm. which will make it m match all of our cars, too. It's gonna look really, really good, without having to like, wrap the car Yeah, black. and then we'll tint the windows, too, so that way it's not a dang fishbowl in the front here. Yeah, we're getting it roasted alive yeah, right now from the sun. It's actually pretty brutal. <laughs> we're not used to it, because our other cars all are all tinted. All our other cars are tinted, yeah. So, but but we're, it's good. we're heading over to my mom's house, and um, we're gonna show her the car, and we gotta pick up pick some up stuff some Christmas as well. Stuff. Cause she actually just sold her freaking house. She's moving to Florida. Yeah, craziness. All right, so we arrived at my mom's house. Those of you who have watched my channel for a long time might remember seeing this house. This is the house where Christina and I quit our jobs out in California, moved in with my mom to do YouTube full time. So this is literally where my channel and her channel pretty much exploded and uh, our lives completely changed. If we would not have taken that risk, we wouldn't be driving cars like this or any of our other supercars or have the house that we have. So um, it's kind of, I'm not happy that she's selling the house, but at the same time, you know, they got a house in Florida. She doesn't need to have two houses. We have plenty of space if she wants to come visit. But uh, yeah, pretty crazy. What do you think, Mama Dukes? Nice. How's it going in here? Good. Good. You found your high school diploma. You found mine? Yeah. Oh, I told them I didn't graduate from high school. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Look at this. She's going through all of our old stuff. Look at my dad. Old school Mark Campisi. My mom looks hilarious with a perm. That's mm. actually me. <laughs> Look, having the dumbest looks on my face, just like normal. We're There's me, Mers. There she is. My <laughs> mom's scary. mom. My grandma. Oh, grandma oh, Memers. Do you remember me? You, you remember how me? how crazy I was when I was that age? Hey Jared. That was a nutcase. What? What? How crazy he was at that age. What's going on? What are you showing me? A book that has quarters in of the states. Uh huh. Do you want it? Oh, that's yeah, cool. that's dope. I'll take that. We'll put it in the office. I've been looking for stuff to That's put in heavy. there. Okay. Thank you. All right, so mom, let's see if you can figure out how to open the trunk. Well, I don't have a key. Where's the key? You need no, a key. you don't need the key. Nope, not Oh, that. nice try. <laughs> nice try. Teresa thought that was the first thing too, she did that. What do you think? Open. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Check Down this middle. out. Push, Check this out, mom. Push up there. Oh my God, it's so cool. Isn't that a brilliant that idea? Amazing. Uh huh. And it's pretty good amount of space too, right? For a coupe? Yeah. This oh is basically, God. so my mom and Brian just got a BMW X5M competition. I Sorry, X6, X6M. Is that correct? Yeah, so exactly the same thing that we did. There's the GLE 53 SUV and the coupe. This is the coupe line because it slants yeah. down right here. The X6M has very similar lines to this. It's a great car. Her, that one actually is a twin turbo V8. Oh my god, yeah. Macy would have hair all over this. Yeah, no Macy in here. So, heading home right now to get changed, then we're gonna go pick up the family and go out to eat. But look at the views out here. I actually do look, it's, obviously it's beautiful in a different way, but in fall, all these mountains and all these trees are gonna change colors and we're gonna have some gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Ma. You certainly must try it. <laughs> all right, so this is her first time pulling it into the garage. Actually, when we get our other car, that's gonna be in here. This will probably be in the detached garage. And we'll have all the supercars in here. But let's, I'm curious, cause this thing is big and wide. So I'm curious to see how well it fits in here. God, that is a beautiful car. The headlights, the grill. That is so badass, dude. Look at this. When we get the matte PPF, imagine all of these are gonna be satin. What a garage lineup right here. And of course, the Lamborghini Diablo, the SP. What's up? The nice thing about this is I was using the front camera, and it has two bright yellow lines to oh. help you park. So I can actually see now in front of the car. Wow! Oh so yeah, we never, angle. we don't have any cars with front cam. With, your your well, Corvette. My, my Corvette does. Yeah, your Corvette but does. To have it for this, like mm -hmm. I can easily park this. Dude, it's this so nice. interior. Now you can see the ambient lighting a little bit. Wow. Yeah, it's red. Dude, it's so sick. All right, let's go get changed. We'll head out to dinner. 
So every time we come home, Oro comes and greets us. Hey, bud. He meows at us. He's like, where have you been? Why aren't you here cuddling? He's a little needy bastard. And Desi's always just chilling, either on the couch or in the room. Look, he's scared of me. What are you doing, bud? What he doesn't like doing, the camera. Bud? What, what are you doing, doing bud? Oh, yeah. Isn't he such a gorgeous cat? Oh, there's and a butthole for you guys. <laughs> it's a butthole for half a million people. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. So if you guys are ever wondering who does all the office work around here, these two, look at him. Mainly him. Look, he's like, yes, you will all do as I say. They're pretty much the brains behind this entire organization. Now that you know what's funny, they sit here right here like this because Christina put bird feeders out here. One, two, three, and plus stuff on the ground. Look, there they are. Oh, there's five bird feeders? Jesus. So these cats just sit here wishing they could go out there and murder them. Actually, Desmo, we'll randomly let them outside. Desmo ate an entire bird. Look at them. You ate it, and you're so uncoordinated looking. But you caught that bird, didn't you, bud? Didn't you? Didn't you catch the bird? You caught the bird. You're the bird boy. The bird boy. They love under here being scratched. Look at them. The dizzy boy. So if you guys ever wonder how we get thumbnails for YouTube, well, one, it's usually just her and I by ourselves. So that's why it's always just like one or the other, um, which is why I always usually put Christina there because she's just much prettier and I'd rather look at her. <laughs> um, but ideally, it'd be nice to have us both in them. So right now we have her iPhone on a tripod with, a with the car and the house in the background. Ideally, this lighting should be down a little bit more, but we're, we're late for dinner. But look at that. That's probably something similar to what you guys saw in the thumbnail. And that's how we do it, with a freaking iPhone. Yes. <laughs> All right, we picked up the Fam Bam, Mama Dukes, and Brian. Yes. What did you think of that thing, first impression? It's awesome. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was telling them earlier that you got a BMW X6M competition. Yeah. That's gonna poop all over that thing. <laughs> but it's very similar, it's a very similar model. Cause you used to have a Hellcat, you guys saw it on the channel if you watched some of my other videos. But I'm really excited. When you get that, you gotta let me know cause I'm gonna come film. Are you getting yeah. up here? Yeah, we're getting up here. Okay, sweet, cause I can't wait. That's That has the... The I'll twin turbo V8. We'll be here for a week, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that do they have a date on that when that's gonna arrive? Last week in November, first week of December. Perfect. So winter time. Awesome. Well that'll be fun to, to film on the channel and see how that compares to that one. Because I didn't drive one of those, I only looked at it. And yeah. that was probably my second favorite model behind the the, the Mercedes. So Alright, so we ended up at Carabas, one of our favorite Italian restaurants. Uh, Brian and I got uh, Italian, or no, what are these? Long Island. Thank you. Long <laughs> Island iced tea. I don't know. Dude, I'm running on really low sleep. Um, we've got some nice oil with some herbs in there. And then Teens likes to throw some vinegar. diarrhea, <laughs> aka vinegar, in hers. And uh, that's what we're doing. Oh, and my mom had a, what is it? That's what sour I'm apple martini. Sour, sour apple what? martini, what? That's what I'm missing, vinegar. I thought you were going to say diarrhea. <laughs> First course has arrived. I got their house salad, which is basically lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, pepperoncini peppers, some olives, and then it has like a creamy parm dressing. It's so good. Oh, and carrots too. Got to got to save the eyesight. Tina Wiener's got the Italian style Italian. salad, mm -hmm. which looks really really good. And I think that's what Mama Duke's got. And is that what you got too? You got Italian yeah. as well. Cool with ranch on it. Okay. So that's what we're starting off with. Look at that. What you just? Look at it. All right. Entrees have arrived. I went with the lobster raviolis. They are so freaking ridiculous. A little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. I dip it in oil with balsamic vinaigrette. And Christina because you got that from did me. the exact same uh -huh. thing. I did steal the dipping it in yes. from her. How is it, babe? Well, Try a bite. Too. Let's watch you. Let's watch and you put it in your mouth. Put it in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mama Dukes is having blackened salmon Spadini. with spadini on top. I don't think that's the right word, but we'll no. go with it. Uh, broccoli with cheese. And then Bri went with the filet. Cut into that. Let's that see how it looks. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I guess I should have. Yes, I'll do one more. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll be ready by the time you get it here. All right. And then he went with mashed garlic mash. Yep. And broccoli. Check this out. Just to flex on people, they have the Mercedes logo. I think it's coming from right. Where is it? Yeah, yeah right there. Right there. That is. That's actually really badass. And the headlights and everything. Oh man, this is a really cool car. I do wish it was a V8. So 
whenever the V8's available, we're gonna have to definitely, but I wanted to show you guys the startup sequence. I'm not sure if I showed you that yet. When you get in here, check it out. It should show like the headlights of the car. Now it's not gonna do it, of course. Or maybe it's when I press the, look at that. It's pretty freaking baller. And now you can see the mood lighting in here. Look at this. Look at this, look at this cockpit. Oh my gosh. I just like saying cockpit. <laughs> I know, I here. All right guys, check this out. When you turn the car on at night, I think it does it all the time, but obviously you can only see it at night. Watch what the lights do, the headlights. Watch this shit. Wait for it. You're like, oh, it's normal. And then And presenting to you, Jerry Campisi. How cool is that shit? We're gonna take it for a proper drive now that we got it. Oh, I love the smooth or so. lighting. It's bad out, even on your feet down there. Look at my toes. And even up here, and underneath this, and you can have them be different like, um, colors and shit it's right, so I want it to get warmer in here and when you adjust it see how I go up oh it turns red to let me know I'm heating if I'm going down then I'm cooling but it's obviously already blue because Jared chose blue but if he does it on his side check this out up oh red only on his oh, side. side dude yeah. this is some next level shit next I'm really, level disco really impressed with this car it even look you can see the reflection outside the oh mirror. yeah you can we have the ambient lighting all the way up too you don't have to have it this this bright let's party guys grab a drink <laughs> and fireworks guys even a show and Jarrett really what re okay you can see him through they're the trees celebrating. they're our, celebrating our new car, our new car. Woo! that's a yeah. great way to end the video right there oh so beautiful uh-huh that is epic <laughs> All right, so I ended up at my buddy Alex's house. Uh, we ran track together in high school. You guys have seen him on the channel. He's my financial advisor, which is kind of laughable, but he's amazing at his job. Um, <laughs> he's like, don't put this online. And then my other buddy Ernie's here. I ran track with him at Penn State as well. He's actually, can I say what you are or am I not allowed? Oh. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, he works for the FBI. He's a badass. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm so proud of him. Not and then I'm just a lonely YouTuber. <laughs> And uh, we're trying to get a fire starting. Oh God, that's oh gonna God. explode right now. He just poured so much gasoline on this. EPA, if you're watching, uh, that was just water. All right, what are the chances this blows up in your face? And he died. Oh my gosh, here we go, folks. <laughs> that's how you start a fire right there. Now can we keep it going? That's amazing. All right, so while Alex fights with the fire, <laughs> We're gonna bust open some of his, some of his good, I actually bought him this, so I don't feel bad busting it open. <laughs> this stuff is so good. Ernie's never had it, so we're gonna let him try it out for the first time. See what he thinks. Pour a glass for each of us, and not one for Alex. What is he doing? I don't I never, know. I never know what that guy's doing. I, know I, doing. I never know what he's doing back there. Hey. I never know what he's doing. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, cheers. It's been, it's been years since we've seen each other, and we've been, through, been. Some, we've been through some <laughs> shit together, right? Yeah. One of the fastest men I've ever had the privilege of running with right here. Long time ago. Long, Long time, time ago. ago. <laughs> cheers, buddy. <laughs> you thought, no. No, it's yeah, amazing. Don't film that one. No, I will, but let me show this one first. Look, you thought that I was kidding? Awesome. No, I'm not even kidding. He was on my state winning 4x1 team in the state of Pennsylvania. That is we, awesome. The fifth fastest time in history. Ernie was there. You won the 400, yeah. right? At that same meet. Yep. And then him and I ran 46 splits on the 4x4. Which was ridiculous. Chasing I each other. On, oh my Do God. you have it? I don't have it. It's on YouTube. <gasps> Please send me the link. Yes, dude. I used to have it on my thing and it got deleted. I watch it every now and then. That's amazing. Did you end up winning that race? Yeah. Uh, did you? Know. He did. Yeah, did he you? Did, maybe. Yeah. Dude, he ran. Was your, did you split 45 or 45? Oh my. In high school, guys. Oh my. All right. So we're heading back home. Tina Wieners is driving. Look at the ambient lighting in this thing. Jared is obsessed with the lighting. I'm a tech guy. Like, I'm a big tech guy. And this just looks. So for even at your feet, like it's just, it's incredible. I feel if this like was, I the road with this. yeah, you do right. Pretty crazy, yeah. if, if this was the V8 model, I'm not I even, like I'm not even kidding. This might be my favorite car in our garage. I'm not even joking. And wait until you see the next I car can't we're getting. Wait till we PPF this oh and that stealth God. satin. It's gonna look amazing. Deadly. I'm so stoked. Deadly. So I think that's where we're gonna leave you guys. We're gonna go home. Get some sleep. We've got the Penn State game tomorrow. Go Penn State. Go Penn State. Um, 
and then a lot a lot more videos coming so let us know what you think of the car purchase did we make the right one uh should we have gotten a different one the bmw the audi and what's the next car we're getting and what is the next car that we're getting dun, 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 dun. and were you dun, right dun, about dun, this dun, car dun. in past videos is yeah. this the car that you get so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a juicy thumbs up subscribe for more and we'll see you all in the next in the next one, one. <laughs> teens give us an acceleration on the way out and hit a deep. Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs>